Hello everyone, I'm the Maximum Guitarist, and this is Let's Play Saga. Last time, Ryu infiltrated the palace, he stabbed the Emperor, and then we fell into a volcano, and now the Dark Dragon Blade that we need to blow up so that the entire world is not destroyed is right out of our reach. It's like up there somewhere, but we're in the depths of this hell hole, and uh, we need to get up there, and we need to freaking get that Dark Dragon Blade and destroy it, because that's what needs to be done. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do some jumping puzzles now to try and get out of this freaking volcano. Good thing that there's like these convenient little cracks for us to crawl in, because it would suck if they were freaking not there. And there it is! The Cursed Dark Dragon Blade! Our mission is over, finally! Pick it up, come on, before something happens, just destroy it. Okay, so here's the thing, Ryu, what he's trying to do, oh, that's fun. What Ryu's trying to do is destroy this dark dragon blade, but instead of instantly destroying it, he's like, oh, I'm gonna wait until I get out of the volcano to destroy it. Ryu! Ryu! Hey! She's like, I will help you get out of this volcano, because I happen to be here at the exact right time to make sure you don't die. Uh, so I don't know if we're timed on this. But, who knows, we'll find out, okay. Oh, oh, are those like bones sticking out of the wall? Jeez, man. So I have no idea if we're timed, I hope we're not. That would be annoying. Oh, cutscene, okay. Uh, oh, we have the Dark Dragon Blade. It's powerful, I assure you. It's probably the most powerful weapon in the game, even better than Unlabored Flawlessness, but of course we're not going to be able to use it, because we got to destroy it. Um, where do we go from here? Do we go down? Like, is there... Where did we come from? Where did we go? Where do... This is, uh... God, where do I go? Do I go up? Yes! Okay. Across you go. Hurry! Hurry, you piece of turd! Hurry, you piece of turd ninja! Before it is too late! Okay, um... Uh. Uh... Okay, pull yourself up. Where do we need to go? Oh god, I need a wall run, don't I? Uh-oh, I'm dead. Well, I see where I was supposed to go now. Anyway, basically this part we're gonna die on a lot because the jumping... No, I don't want to abandon the path of the ninja. Shut up, game. You're stupid. Okay, I think, I think that's six deaths now. But basically, I have one elixir potion and a talisman, and we need to beat the final boss. Um, yeah, we need to beat the final boss. So, there might be some cutting. Oh, I guess I have my bow out. Whatever, I don't care. So we're just going to have to do this a bunch of times, and I'm going to cut if I end up dying too many times, because this this is honestly, in my opinion, the hardest part of the game, is this checkpoint and to the end of the game, because I don't think there's any more save points until the end of the game. And really, they, after you fight the what you thought was the final boss, the Emperor, you have to fight another final boss, which I don't want to say yet, because spoilers, but it's kind of a no... <sighs> I'm going to die a lot. It's kind of annoying because, like, they know that you just fought one of the hardest bosses in the game and now you have no potions and there's no Muramasa statue, so whatever you make it out of that fight with, you have to use to, to fight the final boss. So, it's really kind of frustrating and, uh, yeah, you know. So, I'm bad at the jumping in this game. It's my least favorite part of the game is the jumping in this game, because it's like, I, I get that it's a ninja, you know, it's a ninja game and you're supposed to be an acrobatic ninja and it's cool, but it really seems unnecessary. I mean, to be completely honest, this game is nothing like what being a real ninja would be, because ninjas are like stealthy and attempt to not kill people to get their mission done, and you know, have like they try to like kill as few people as possible to just get their mission done. But Ryu goes out of his way to murder everyone as loudly as possible. So Ryu isn't really the best ninja. He's definitely a great murder and killing machine that fights for justice and destroys everything, but he's really not the greatest ninja in the world, you know? Uh, I mean, he looks like a ninja, 
and he dresses like a ninja, and he can sure jump like a ninja, but that's really it. All right. Up we go. No, don't fall, you idiot. You idiot ninja. That's not actually a ninja. Uh, but yeah, the thing is, there's no save point between here and the boss, so you have to do this every single time you die to the boss. Um, and it's kind of annoying because the boss is pretty freaking hard. And I actually don't really remember how to fight them, so it's going to be a little frustrating. Okay, so we go up here. You have to jump down, right? One, two, there's Rachel. There it is. Ah. Okay. Here we are, and we have to jump up here, no, go up, there we go, and now we have to go over to Rachel, and I don't know, do we jump? I guess, yeah, we jump. Okay, and she grabs us and pulls us up on her Batman grappling hook. Woo! Up we go. Why didn't I just, like, all you need to do is stab it with your true dragon sword, because they're polar opposites, so like, once you stab it, the, the dark dragon blade will be gone. Alright, here we are, cutscene time, whoop de doo And there it goes. Hey, look, it's our best friends! And here we are, we're totally fine, completely unscathed uh, by the massive volcano that just erupted. I expected nothing less. However, Good. the power of the dark dragon is wasted on you. Oh, that sucks. Oh, Dragon is now truly an evil blade. What do you mean? His Excellency, the Dark Disciple, has been waiting for this very moment. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, he's got it! The super evil bad guy! You've done well, Gamov. What? <gasps> no, not Gamov! Oh, well, Gamov's dead. That was easy. Who is he? Who is the Dark Disciple? Guess what, guys? It was the first boss in the game the whole time. It's it's your Mirai guy, the first guy that we fought. And for some reason, we didn't kill him then. And I guess he's the most evil fiend of all time. And he's now got the Dark Dragon Blade. All right, so now it's time to have the true battle between good and evil. And uh, I just want to say, Rachel sits on the sidelines and does absolutely nothing the entire fight. Here we are. Ow, I can't see anything. So this is it. This is the last part of the game. Ow. Okay, so let's hope. Maybe I can kill him on my first try. I doubt it, though. Oh, God. Because he's strong, and I've only got one talisman. Come on, I wonder if, like, if this will do anything to him. Yeah, it will. Ow. Yeah, I remember the uh, unlabored flawlessness doesn't really work here. Oh god. Oh, there goes the talisman. This is gonna suck. Oh, dang it. I got caught by that. Yeah, this guy's hard. Mirai 2.0. I just spat on myself a little bit, I'm disgusting. And the camera is horrible, like, look at this! Come on, I can do it, first try, let's go. Come on! Man, this is gonna be a really short episode, I just realized, if I kill him on my first try. Oh god. This move is very hard to dodge. That's all you gotta do is you gotta jump out of the way. Ah, he hit me. Oh, it's gonna be close! Ow. Come on! Oh god, again! This move is really hard to dodge and I got lucky. Okay, I just gotta wait. Come through. Whew! Okay. Adrenaline pumping this is. Come on, I almost got him. 
First try, come on. Ooh. Oh, I got him! First try! <laughs> I did it! He's dead! Oh, he's dead! First try. Oh my goodness. There he goes. Mirai has been vanquished. The true evil of this world. The fiends have been defeated. This was the most ridiculous adventure of all time in the history of the universe. The Dark Dragon Blade must be defeated. Once and for all, it is gone. The Dark Dragon Blade is no more. And the fiends are no more. And Rachel's just like, hey, you, you did a good job and everything. Sorry I didn't help you. I was too busy being annoying. Oh, and Ayana is just chilling too. She's like, oh, sorry I'm late. Uh, I could have helped you kill him, but uh, I guess I'll just leave now because I, I showed up late. So, like, what's the point? I, I'm not even going to congratulate you. I'm just going to leave. What? Why? This game is so ridiculous. You did it, Ryu. Good job. You're a good boy. You, you saved the world. Thanks for helping me out. I'm gonna leave now. Don't go, my friend. I will see you again. In the future. There is no need for us to be friends anymore. I hate you and you're stupid. Go kill yourself. He's basically what he's saying. It's over. Our job's done. Okay, and he turned into a magical spirit. And he couldn't have done that at any point in the entire game until now? Like, what, did he need to unlock the true power of the dark... No, not, like destroy the Dark Dragon Blade to unlock its true power so that he can now fly? Like, why didn't he do that before? Come on, Ryu. Anyway, that's the game. That's the first game. Uh, hey, look, it's us in the beginning, except for some reason we're wearing that cool armor that we weren't wearing in the beginning. Um, uh, is there any way I can skip this? It's like, who cares, you know? It's like, I don't think I could skip it. Well, we're just going to watch the credits. So, um, that is the first Ninja Gaiden game. Uh, my, one of my favorite games of all time, for sure. Uh, the action is fantastic. Um, I think overall we did pretty good. We died... How many times? We died seven? Seven times, I think it was. Yeah, we died seven times in total, which is pretty darn good. Granted, I was only playing on normal, and there are many difficulties above normal, but still... Dying only seven times in one of the hardest games of all time is pretty sh not is not too shabby considering um, you know we could have we could have done a lot worse and this could have been a lot harder but we're not even close to being done we're now a third of the way done with this series because we have uh, Ninja Gaiden two and three still to get through which um, I don't like Ninja Gaiden one because it's one of my favorite games I remembered quite a bit about it and it was just that I was kind of rusty. But as for Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3, I've only played them once a piece, and I haven't played them both in several years, so I'm not going to remember, like, anything about it, and it's going to be really, <laughs> it's going to be pretty difficult for us to get through that game, those two games, because I, I don't remember anything, so I'm just going to have to go off of my Ninja Instincts. One thing I do like about Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3 and the whole Ninja Gaiden series, really, is that in between games, there's not a whole lot of stuff that changes. Really, all the mechanics are pretty much the same. You just have different weapons and enemies, and there are a few different items. But, And I guess there are a few new combos and stuff, but really, a lot of the game is, like, between each game, they're really quite similar to uh, one another. And the story in both two other games are just as ridiculous as this one. Not more ridiculous, not less ridiculous, pretty much the same amount of ridiculousness. Just doesn't make any sense. Uh, but personally, I did not jo enjoy them as much as this game. But they're still both two very good games that I'm excited to uh, play for you guys. And there we go. That's the end of the game. That's that's what we just did. Pretty good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Ooh, this is new. We haven't seen this before. Oh. But she's dead, so this is, like, the past, I guess? What is this? That was like the chick who died in the second level, who's got like the true dragon sword gem around her neck. But we haven't seen this before, so who is she? Like this, she's dead, so this must be have been before like Ninja Gaiden. Okay, just needed something extra to cram in there, and I think we get a cutscene after the credits, right? Team Ninja, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, guys, I should play Extreme Beach Volleyball for sure. Get all them views. 
Boobs in the thumbnail, man. Works every time. You guys are thirsty. Oh, in memory. What a hero. I think, what was he? That guy you, that I can't pronounce. I don't want to butcher his name. Oh, okay, well, the cutscene. But he, like, he worked on this game. I can't remember who he was, though. Was he an actor or was he, like, a game designer? I don't remember. Okay, so basically, it's the moon. That's the grave of our friend who we just saw and Ryu's back in his village. And, uh, you know, I guess it's his girlfriend or something. I don't know. And he's putting the gem back because he doesn't need it anymore because the world is saved. So he doesn't need his ultimate true dragon sword anymore. He's fine. And I guess he just... I don't know where he's going to go from here. Restore honor to the rest of the world. Save the world where it needs saving. That's, you know, ninja stuff. Ooh. Man, look how symbolic that falcon flying off into the moon. So beautiful. And that's it. That's Ninja Gaiden 1, I'm pretty sure. And we're going to get kicked out to the main menu here. I think it'll say, like, you unlocked a costume or something. Oh, no, now we get our stats for the episode. What we got? 11 minutes. What are we going to get? Eh? Master Ninja. All right. So that's me. I'm the Master Ninja. Oh, hard difficulty has been unlocked. And a new costume has been unlocked. And mission mode has been unlocked, which is like extra bonus, like, mini games and, like, challenges that are stupid. And by stupid, I mean they're really fun, but I'm not going to play them because they're just challenges. Uh, and there it is. There's, uh the title screen, so I'm just gonna go in here. Uh, so that's it, that's Ninja Gaiden 1. That is the end of Ninja Gaiden 1. I said that like three times that, I think you guys know it's the end of Ninja Gaiden 1, and you know how I told you like I wasn't gonna release any Ninja Gaiden um, videos during the break? Well, I'm, I was wrong, this is the only one I'm gonna be releasing because I wasn't able to get this out before the break started. So this is the last uh, one for the break, and we will continue probably on Monday with Ninja Gaiden 2, which will be hard because I don't remember, like, anything about it at all. So, uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next game. Alright, bye!